Opening statements began this morning in the trial of former U.S. House Majority Leader Tom DeLay. Good afternoon. I'm Sally Hernandez. And I'm Chris Willis. DeLay is accused of helping to illegally finance Texas legislative races back in 2002. Our Katinia McHenry has been in the courtroom all morning and just stepped out to bring us this update. Katinia? Good afternoon, Chris. The jury of eight men and six women were seated just after 9 o'clock this morning. They listened to opening arguments from both sides. The prosecution began. Prosecutor Beverly Matthews began by telling the, jur the jury that contributions of $190,000 made to the uh, Tom DeLay's political action, action committee were sent directly to candidates, and that was a violation of the state's election code. She says that those seven races that the money allegedly went to sway voters and put more Republicans Republicans in Congress and also would have given Tom DeLay more power. Now, the defense spoke this after this morning. Uh, Dick DeGarren is Tom DeLay's defense attorney. He told the jury that DeLay did nothing wrong and he called it a money swap, which he says is not illegal in any way. He says, in fact, it happens all the time. And $190,000 is not an unprecedented amount. On the stand right now is the prosecution's first witness, Craig McDonald. He is a political science professor. He is on the stand testifying right now. Four more witnesses are expected to testify this afternoon. We will bring you, of course, updated information as soon as we have more updated information to give you. For now, reporting live in downtown Austin, Katina McHenry, KXAN, Austin News. Katina, thank you.